How's it going people, it's your boy Voodoo Vids in the house, how's everyone doing? Before we get started into the video, don't forget to share, subscribe and to like this video. I will be talking about someone who we all know, his name is Dr. Zakir Naik, aka The Medical Doctor. And I will be reviewing one of his videos that I saw a long time ago. And back when I watched this video, I was actually a big fan of his. But after watching this video, it did make me question uh, his integrity and his credentials. This is the sort of turning point. I was like, mm, I'm not really sure about this guy. So without any further ado, let's get into it. A uh, Muslim and from India, they know Urdu and understand. They asked the question, that in the Islamic Republic, we have to make our religion and our religion and our religion and our religion. If it is, then in the Saudi Arabia and other Islamic countries, why do you not get permission to make a church? Why do you make a Muslim in London and Paris? چند اسلامی ملکوں میں مثال کے طور پہ سعودی عربیہ ایکسیٹرا میں پروپیگیشن آف اینی ادر ریلیجن از پروہبیٹڈ ایون کنسٹرکشن آف اینی پلیس آف ورشپ از آلسو پروہبیٹڈ اور اس میں کئی کئی غیر مسلم کہتے ہیں کہ ہم جب آپ کو الاؤ کرتے ہیں ہمارے کنٹری میں پاتے یورپ میں آتے ہیں امریکہ میں آتے تبلیغ کرتے ہیں ماس بناتے تو ہمیں کیوں نہیں پرمیشن ہے اس کا میں سمپل سوال پوچھتا ہوں انہیں کہ میں غیر مسلم سے یہ پوچھتا ہوں اگر آپ ایک اسکول کے پرنسپل ہے اور اگر آپ میتھ ٹیچر چننا چاہتے ہیں اور تین ٹیچر آتے ہیں ایک ٹیچر سے آپ سوال پوچھے دو جمع دو کتنا پہلا ٹیچر کہتا ہے کہ دو جمع دو تین دوسرا ٹیچر کہتا ہے دو جمع دو چار تیسرا ٹیچر کہتا ہے دو جمع دو چھ تو میں یہ ان سے پوچھتا ہوں وہ ٹیچر جو کہتا ہے دو جمع دو تین یا دو جمع دو چھ کیا آپ اس کو اسکول میں رکھیں گے تو وہ کہتے ہیں نہیں بولا چو آپ اس کو پڑھانے دیں گے بولتے نہیں پڑھانے دیں گے کیوں نہیں دیں گے کیونکہ اسے میتھمیٹکس کا صحیح علم نہیں ہے اسی طریقے سے جہاں دین کا سوال ہے الحمد للہ سما الحمد للہ ہم مسلمان جانتے ہیں کہ ان دین ان دلائی الاسلام ایبسلوٹلی امیزنگ ٹو 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 فور ٹو ٹو تھری ٹو ٹو سکس ویڈیو ویڈیو کو بتائیں I don't think, uh, I think the doctor has completely misunderstood the question. The question is basically not about what is 2 plus 2, uh, what is objective reality. The question is about personal freedom. Should people be allowed to practice their religion freely in a country? Now, it just boggles my mind. When I first heard this, I was like, what? You're going to compare, you know, someone building a church and promoting their religion to 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 3. Uh, it's completely, completely ridiculous. So basically, in his version of, of what a perfect country should be, um, no other religion should be propagated other than Islam. And even if we were to go down into the details of what type of Islam, I don't think he would be too happy with uh, Shia mosques or, I don't know, Sufi mosques or mosques that differ from his understanding of Islam. So basically the only kind of Islam that would be allowed in Dr. Zaik and Naik's perfect world would be, you know, the medical order kind of Islam. The only, the kind of Islam that only he would agree with, because why would, if, if you're going to break it down to 2 plus 2 is 4, then why would you even allow for a different type of Islam, for another type of Islam that you don't agree with? So this is the kind of nonsense, this is the kind of uh, ludicrous ideas, uh, unfortunately, um, this man comes out with. And people actually respect him or respect this uh, kind of idea or this analogy. It's complete nonsense. This is a little bit of a thing. He doesn't understand that their religion is okay. And we also understand that our religion is okay. We also understand that our religion is okay. Now, it's clear in front of people that they come to them. In the match, the Muslim man will 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 in their school. Because they are کنفرمڈ ہے کہ ٹو پلس ٹو فور یہ تو دین کے معاملے میں ہم کنفرم نہیں نو کنفرم نہیں اگر وہ کنفرمڈ ہوتے تو غلط چیز کیوں پڑھانے دیں گے اسی طریقے سے ہم جب رول کر رہے ہیں کون سی کنٹری ہمیں ہنڈریڈ سو ٹکا پتا ہے کہ اسلام کے علاوہ دیگر مذاہب صحیح نہیں ہے یہاں کوئی ہیومن رائٹس کا مسئلہ کوئی ایسی بات ہیومن رائٹس کا سوال نہیں ہاں اگر کوئی پریکٹس کرنا چاہتا ہے مسلم کنٹری میں اپنے گھر میں پرابلم پروپگیٹ نہیں کر سکتا So another nonsense argument is that he's saying that, you know, we have, you know, we are 100%, the Muslims are 100% confirmed in their religion. So this is why we're not going to allow other religions to practice, because we already know what the truth is. We don't need other people to teach our children, two plus two is three, right? And the reason why the West allows people to promote their own religions is because they're not sure of their own religion. They're, they're not 100% confident like we are, therefore they don't know. Uh, it, 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 it. Seriously. This is not a weakness 
of the West or other secular liberal countries uh, that allow other religions to preach in their country. It is their strength. They are not afraid and they have a big enough heart and mind that they can accommodate for people of different viewpoints. This is your own small mindedness and, and, and insecurity that you don't think it's okay for other people to preach their religion in a Muslim country. This is a strength of the West, something which uh, uh, encourages critical thinking, something which encourages rational thought, something which encourages openness. Uh, unfortunately, someone like Zark and like, and many people like him, they like to take advantage of the West and, and its freedoms, but if the roles were reversed, if the shoe was on the other foot, they would not allow people of a different uh, religion or a different persuasion to preach in countries governed by their laws or their ideas. Seriously, this is a hypocrisy, this is double standard, and this is insecurity. If you, if you are really that strong in your religion, right, if you really believe Islam is 2 plus 2 equals 4, if you really believe that, then you should not be scared or insecure uh, when someone comes to you and says 2 plus 2 is 3. You know, any good mathematician or scientist, if, they're, you know, if they really believe that their theory holds weight, then they should, you know, uh, ch uh, challenge other scientists or allow for other scientists or mathematicians to come and challenge their theory. Because that's how you know if something is true. You challenge it, you bring proof, you bring evidence, you bring argument, and you say, you know, this is, my, this is my position, this is your position, let's see who wins. But his position is no, we're not going to have any challenge. You're not going to preach on the streets. That you're, you're, you're not going to give Christian da'wah or atheist da'wah or whatever da'wah. We know what the answer is and there's no debate. I hope that answers the question.